Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. For this week's video, I want to show you how you can easily direct your viewers' attention into your subjects inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So to get started, I have this photo of this old truck, and I really want to bring all of my viewers' attention right into my subject here. Well, an easy way to do that is by using your masking tools with effects and local adjustments. So let's start in effects. I'm going to head into my effects tab, I'm going to add a filter, and I'm just going to add a tone curve with my curves filter. So now that I've added that curves filter, I want to use it to pull up on some of the midtones and bring some life back into this truck here. So I'll just head over to my curves filter, I'll grab my midtone point, and I'll just pull up on it to incorporate some more midtones. But I want to add a little bit more contrast, so I'll head down to my shadow area, and I'll just pull down on it a hair. So now if I turn this off and on, it does a good job of pulling out some of those midtones and adding in contrast to my truck, but I don't like it what it does to the entire photograph. Well, if we only want it applied to our truck here, there's an easy way to do that. We're going to head over to our left toolbar, and we're going to go into our masking tools here. We're going to head up and grab our masking bug from our top tool modifier bar, or you can select it by hitting M on your keyboard. Now that we have our masking bug selected, we're going to go over to this top bar, and in the shape menu, we're going to choose edges. So now I'll just drop this down on my subject here, and now we have the shape tool that we can use to modify the size and the feathering of this mask. So if I go over to the curves filter here, and I go into my masking options, and I view this mask, you'll see it's creating a mask and only applying it to this white area in my photo. So now what we can do is we can modify the size of this to fit our subject. I'm just going to pull in on these little white handles here and resize it to fit my truck. I can use this big handle here to move it around anywhere I want on the photograph. I can use this little one to rotate it. And then if I want to modify the feathering, I can pull up or down on these perforated edges. So now if we turn this tone curve off and on, you'll see it's only being applied to our truck and it's not being applied anywhere else on the photograph. So now let's say we want to apply. So now let's say we want to apply detail to this area on our truck, but we don't want detail applied to the other areas on our photo. Well, we can head into our masking options for the curves filter, and we can just copy this mask. Now I'll add a filter. I'll add a dynamic contrast filter. We can head into our masking options. I can paste that mask. And now this filter is only being applied to the truck. So I can go in and modify this filter by pulling up on the small to add in some more small details. And then I'll head down to my vibrance to bring in a little bit more color. So now if I turn this filter off and on, you'll see it does a good job of bringing in detail and color strictly to this area on my truck. So now to finish this off, let's darken the areas around our truck to really direct the viewer's attention into our subject. I'm just going to head over to my Local Adjustments tab. I'm going to make sure my new adjustment is set to Darken. And now that I have my Local Adjustment brush selected, I'm going to head up to my Top Modifier bar, and I'm going to grab my Adjustable Gradient here. You can also grab it by holding down Shift and hitting K on your keyboard. So now for this shape, we're going to go into our Shape menu, and we're going to choose Center. So now I'll head down and I'll drop this on the subject again. But this time, if I go to my masking options, and I view this mask, it's being applied around the subject and not being applied directly on it, similar to a vignette. So now let's view this photo. And I can go back in, and I can modify the placement for this mask. 
I'm just gonna resize it using these handles. And then I can move it around with this larger handle to place it directly on my truck. And for this dark and local adjustment, I'm gonna feather it quite a bit so that it looks a little more natural. And in this local adjustment layer, sometimes I like to head down to my color and I'll pull back on the saturation for this to remove any of that excess color around my subject and really direct the viewer's attention right here into my truck. So now if I turn this local adjustment layer off and on, you'll see it does a good job of removing the distractions around my subject. And we can always go into this adjustment and we can lower the opacity to make it look more natural. So let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard to view our original. And there you go. That's how to direct your viewer's attention right into your subject. I'm Dylan with On One, and thanks for watching.